air loop is a front somersault in the air and normally done in a hole. It's super cool because you can get out of the water and it's one of the easiest hole moves out there. So you're ready to do front flips, otherwise known as an air loop. Let's get right down to the technique of making this work for you. Step one is you want to make sure that you're in the right position in your kayak. If you're doing front air loops, it's not going to hurt any to have a little bit of extra bow in front of you. My recommendation is slide back in your seat a little bit or even move your seat back slightly. Tighten up your happy feet or your foot brace system. Basically moving yourself back, giving you a little bit more volume in the bow. This is going to help, number one, in getting you higher out of the water. Getting you higher out of the water is going to help you when you're learning the air loop because you're going to be able to flip and have more chance of bringing the boat all the way around with your front flip. Your next step is to make sure you select the right feature. Ideally, when you plug your bow in, you don't hit bottom. However, there's a lot of whitewater parks and there's a lot of smaller rivers where it's the best air looping spot on the entire river, you do hit bottom. The important part is if you've seen other people do air loops there, then it's probably possible. If you've never seen anybody air loop there before and you're hitting bottom, there may be a reason that people aren't doing it. Specific steps you're going to go through for the air loop. Step one is you're going to get on top of the hole. You're going to get as high on the, on the foam pile as possible. This gives you a position where you can teeter-totter or seesaw the bow down and get it steep enough in so that when you drop into the green water, you're already fairly vertical. What this does is allow you to plug the bow and the boat in as far as possible, really loading it up with a lot of volume, and then the green water is going to launch you back up in the air. So you've got the concept. The way to get the bow in, as soon as you feel yourself dropping into the hole, lean forward and then push down on your feet a little bit to see saw it down. Now your next step is just to guide the boat in straight. Make sure that your bow doesn't yaw to the right or left at all, and also make sure that you don't drop any right or left edge. You want to be pointed straight up against the current at 12 o'clock, and you also keep the boat dead flat. Any variation to that is going to force the boat off to the side, you're not going to get the lift you need to do the front flip. So assuming you plugged in straight, as soon as your bow is hitting the green water, your next step, try to imagine you're doing a front flip off a trampoline or a front flip off of a diving board. At that particular moment, you are springing down and springing the trampoline or diving board up, or you're springing your kayak up. So when do you want to tuck? You want to tuck the moment before your boat stops rising, basically at the very apex of your rise. When you tuck, you're going to throw your head, body, and arms down to your front deck as hard as you can. And remember, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. When you throw your body down, it brings your boat up. And not only is it going to bring your boat up, but it's going to throw your, boat, your bow out of the water and throw your boat over your head. Your front flip has just started. Now, like with any front flip, at the very end, you're going to have to open up and land it. And this is a very key element to doing the air loop. As soon as you feel like your stern is about to hit the water, at that moment you're going to open up. You're literally going to throw your, your body from on the front deck to the back deck. And what does that do? That flips the bow down and lands you back on the pile ready to go. The most common mistakes for the front loop are, number one, not getting a setup right. Not dropping in vertically enough, so what happens is you get pushed out the back of the hole but you don't get shot up. The other common mistakes is not going in straight or keeping your weight over the boat. Either one of those things will prevent you from getting enough lift to do your front flip. The next biggest mistake people make is they go for the tuck, they go up high and they tuck forward, but they stay tucked forward and their boat comes most of the way around, but you don't quite land it. You end up landing just partially upside down and flushing out of the hole simply because you didn't throw your weight back and bring the bow down. So if you can remember to go in steep, jump up high, forward tuck, and open up in that order, you're going to be flipping like crazy.